Naval, I think, has one of the best quotes, right? It's like, if you get into higher education, you lose your mind or something like that. You know, like you, you, you get the, you get the academia, but you lose the common sense or something. Is that a price that, that sh people should be willing to pay anyway? How about, I, Nico, I think there's, yeah, but can I just say this in defense of a lot of really good professors? Sure. Because there are a lot of really out there. A shout out to my alma mater and David Collum at Cornell University. Okay. He is the example of a professor that tries to examine a situation and adjust his thesis as the information changes versus some knucklehead like Kelton, again, that wrote a book and then is going to stick to that thesis, sort of like uh, Shifty Pete sticks to his thesis and Paul Krugman sticks to his thesis that, you know, the impact of the internet is going to be somewhere around the level of a fax machine. What an absolute embarrassment. Like Paul Krugman, seriously, for the benefit of the future children of this world, just go away and hide in some little closet, you fucking failed academic, okay? You are an embarrassment to risk management globally. And just because you can write in the New York Times which I wouldn't wrap fish in the New York Times as a publication because they're so conflicted. But go and write your little shit in the New York Times because you see a world that you've never actually managed. You only do it on a blackboard in front of a bunch of students. If I was from Princeton University, I had a degree from Princeton University and Krugman was still an endowed professor at Princeton, I would rip that piece of shit up because <laughs> it's an embarrassment his analysis.